hello guys welcome to soft coding in this video i'm going to show you how to insert data in firebase real-time database in last video we have created and uh, connected our firebase real-time database with our android project if you haven't seen uh, my last video so don't worry the link is in uh, description in this video we will insert data in firebase real-time database but before that you have to change these two rules by default the read and write rules are false so you have to change it to true before inserting or retrieving data from firebase real-time database so now let's open up our android project okay uh, let's suppose uh, we are inserting a student record in our database so for that we we will need some uh, fields i will i will define some uh, required fields here really quick So here uh, you can see our layout is ready. Now open your main activity.java and here we uh, need to specify variables for that views and uh, make a reference to that uh, views. So let's do it. Now we will need a database reference to access our database and insert our data. So for that uh, database reference, we will name it student db ref. And here in on create student is equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child. We'll give it a name students you can give it any name uh, you want you can consider it your uh, database name so i will give it a students now uh, we will insert our data when the insert data button is clicked so here uh, we will uh, set a click listener on our button On click listener and insert student data. And now create this method here. Private insert student data. So now we will get a user uh, input and store it in some variables like name is equal to et name dot get text this get text will uh, get the input from edit text field and the number do the same Get selected item to string. 
now uh, we will define a model class for student data so name it students we will define three variables here so name number and course we will pass it a constructor create constructor and press control and select all these click ok constructor is created now we will need to create getters for this so generate getter and do the same select all and click ok now we will create a student class object here we have students and pass the data we are getting from input fields course no student database reference dot push dot set value no as you can see uh, dot set value is uh, accepting only object so we will pass the students object to set values it will insert all data in firebase database so we will pass a student here okay so we are using here uh, dot push method we are uh, using this method to uh, generate a unique id or a unique key for every new record uh, if we are not using this in our insertion process so the data will be overwritten on uh, previous uh, record so the new record uh, will be not inserted uh, or the new record will be inserted but the uh, previous one will be overwritten with that so we are using dot push to generate a unique id in uh, when every when new record is inserted we will show a toast here data inserted toast Now let's run the app. Okay, you can see the app is launched. We will pass some data here. And so we pass. Course will be English and click on insert data. Okay, this toast to all your data inserted. We will check it in our database. So, as you can see, we pass a child named student. So, here is a student's node, and here is our data inserted. This is the unique key. It, this key is generated by dark push method. So, uh, if we insert a new record here, we will change the name to run and course to it will be 14 and click on insert so as you can see the new record is inserted here with name Kamran or number 14 and course is Urdu so this is how you can insert uh, data in firebase real time database and this will be the structure of your uh, firebase database so uh, that's it for today and in next video i will show you how to retrieve data from firebase real time